um, what I wanted to remind you of is right over here. Uh, well, it's the other way. Okay, right <laughs> there is our website, robertsandgenis.org. And my good friend, longtime friend, Lawrence Gonzaga, has been very busy uh, polishing up that website. And it looks like, you know, a professional has, has done it. So he is uh, top notch. And, and don't bother calling him up to do your website because that's going to take him away from mine. So uh, don't do that. But uh, he is uh, one talented individual. And if you ever look at his, uh, when he sends you an email, if you ever look at all the stuff that he does, it's like he's even busier than I am. And I thought I was busy. But so I don't know how he holds it all together. But at any rate, um, he's doing a bang up job on those websites. And uh, if you get a chance, go over there, take a look. And uh, <clears throat> oh, so one other thing I wanted to tell you. Yes. Um, I, I did a movie, completed it last week and showed it at the conference. And a lot of people liked the movie, a lot. So uh, that movie is called How the World Was Made. Yeah, it's a little sciencey, but also it gives a literal interpretation of Genesis chapter one and a little bit of Genesis chapter two. And it does so, believe it or not, using modern science. As a matter of fact, that is the subtitle of the book that's going to accompany the movie. The movie's only an hour long, and I didn't want to make it too long because, um, you know, you can pick up a book anytime. A movie, you know, you got to get ready for a movie and set aside the time to look at the whole thing. A book you can pick up and read a couple of pages, pages put it down, and come back to it later on. So the book is probably going to be about 400 pages. Um, because I want it to be um, one of the more detailed, comprehensive treatments of Genesis 1 from a literal standpoint. And I've got some surprises for you. Stuff that I didn't even see before. And all of a sudden, I had some new revelations. I don't know if my guardian angel was helping or what, but... Uh, I had some new revelations, and uh, finally, after how many years doing this? 27 years, I finally feel comfortable that I've tied all the knots together and put all the pieces of the puzzle together, and there's no missing pieces. So you can call that a lifetime of work on this to make sure that because there were just a couple things hanging that I just couldn't. And that's because I made a mistake somewhere along the line. And I finally found where I made the mistake. And uh, then I was able to patch it up all together and sew it up. And, man, it just, it sings. It really sings. So we've got a new book coming out called How the World Was Made. And the subtitle is a literal interpretation of Genesis using modern science. So, now we don't go to the Big Bang, okay? We do nothing but criticize the Big Bang, but that's also science, you see, because there's a lot of scientists that criticize the Big Bang, <laughs> not just me. And so I tell you all about that. So, um, anyway, that book, I'm work, feverishly working on that book and hope to get it done this week. And... Um, it is going to replace the other book we had out called Geocentrism for Dumskies. I'm going to take that book off the market for now and replace it with this one. Uh, because those of you who want to know the strict geocentric issue things from science, Geocentrism 101 is probably the book you're going to have to go to. So... Oh, and by the way, I had a mother with homeschooling kids send me an email, and I have failed to write back to her. So if you're watching this, and I forget your name, um, 
and she asked me, you know, what if, if I worked on anything or have anything in the wings regarding homeschooling for science for homeschooling moms. And I told my wife about that. And I said, you know, what, what should we do about this? And she said, I have a friend in Australia that I totally forgot about who has made a curriculum for homeschooling moms in science. So if you're out there, please contact me because I forget who you are. My wife remembered you and she doesn't know your name either, but she, she remembers me talking about this. So she's got a mind like a steel trap, never forgets a thing, which can be good and bad at the same time, you know, um, usually good. So I'm happy. Uh, at any rate, so if you're out there from Australia, you happen to be listening, please contact me because I want to hook you up with this homeschooling mom that called me, uh, not called me, emailed me and asked me, and I have not written back to her because I don't know exactly what to say. So um, at any rate, just thought I'd throw that out there in case somebody from Australia who is into homeschooling for science is listening. Okay, so got those two things out of the way.